Disturbing discovery in Pomona. A man's burned body was found inside a car. And neighbors saw the flames. They're the ones who called 911. And now a family is really worried the victim could be a relative. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom live in Pomona. And Cara, what's the latest on the investigation? Sandy, the fire department just left here. They actually had to cut the roof off of the burned car behind us here so that the coroner can get out the body. Very tough for the people who've started showing up here and believe this may have been a loved one and unsettling for the neighbors who heard the gunfire. I heard several, what I thought was shotgun blasts. And so I called 911. Immediately saw flames, but they were reflected in the windows across the street. I thought it was a house fire. Bob Millard retired from the Orange County Sheriff's Department, so he recognized the blast, but he couldn't figure out their connection to the flames. Within minutes, firefighters pulled up to a fire raging inside this charred car. They put it out and sadly found a body inside. From what uh, we've learned, he does live in the area, uh, was possibly getting home at the time. Sergeant John Edson with Pomona Police says the man killed was so badly burned they can't positively identify him. But neighbors told officers they fear he's a family member who never came home from his overnight job. Investigators tell us they also don't yet know how the man died. They found shell casings and other evidence suggesting shots were fired near the car, possibly right before the fire. Now detectives are looking for any security camera footage that can help them understand what happened. Normally it's fairly peaceful. I have no idea what could have gone on. These neighbors, anxiously waiting for word about who died, did not want to talk. At this point, police say they have no clue about a possible motive or any descriptions of suspects. And I just spoke with a man who believes the person killed is his best friend, who he describes as an incredible human being. He says the car that burned is his friend's car. He got a phone call early this morning, and he drove here all the way from Vegas, he tells us, uh, Susanna and Sandy, hoping that somehow there's an explanation for this. He says he's heartbroken.